Yo, what is going on, guys? This is June V here again. And today, what I got for you is a Punishing Pop Stars episode 6. It is a 56 bomb versus 276 win losses. Uh, they, both of them do dash. Um, one of them was a flawless 76 win loss. And uh, Negro's Complaint, I believe. And then Yellow Wolf, he was the other one. He had like 300 wins with a 76 win loss. He is from FUIA, but, you know. Since they don't care about stats, you know, they're probably not, he's probably not even going to get kicked. Um, the class setup for this game was the FAL, Quick Draw, Reflex, Stock, Flex Jacket, Hardline, Toughness, uh, and Dexterity. I don't know why I use Hardwire, but I think I switched it up that game. Uh, my kill streak setup is UAV, VSAT, and Warthog. Um, you know, Warthog, pretty useful. It stuns people, even if it doesn't kill them. Like I said before, it's pretty useful. And the two guys I was playing with was uh, TSC Reapin, that's I has rabies, and the Vons a Downey, that is No Thumb Timmy. Uh, I am playing on my main, uh, so there's really no complaints about us being on antis, you know. I mean, he obviously knew that we were tryhards if they saw me. I mean, my stats aren't great because I really don't care about them anymore, but I still do have like a 3KD with a 730 SPM. Anyways, I just uh, I thought I'd just throw us in here just for a good laugh, but... No Thumb Timmy does get carried, um, aka Vonza Downey. Uh, he goes naggy at first, and then I think when we get V sets, he starts going positive. But besides the point, uh, one of the guys in the other team, I can't remember his gamer tag, but some master prestige, I can't really remember what his gamer tag was because I'm not looking at the game right now. But he pulls off a V set and UMP really quick on the second hard point. I'm not sure how. He was just camping and farming the randoms, if I remember right. Like, because I remember going back and watching the game, he was just killing the randoms and he's also using shock charges and throwing them at us and we didn't have attack mask on so that was pretty annoying so that's just better for the gameplay um so let's go ahead and move on to today's commentary topic so today's commentary topic is going to be on call of duty ghost uh kill streaks everything but specialist because you know uh, that's basically all the perks so i'm not going to go over that so let's go ahead and get down with the satcom that is basically the uav from mw3 uh, except for this time, instead of it being flying around circling up in the air, it's going to be on the ground and you'll be able to shoot it down pretty easy. Um, I think I do like it kind of like that because it'll be easier to shoot down and I, I think UAVs are pretty overpowered for being only three kills. Anyways, on to the next one, we got the IMS. It is the, it's basically the same as MW3, so I'm not even going to read the description on that. And then we got the, uh, Guard Dog, which is Riley. Um, five kills, uh, will just follow and attack enemies and it'll also growl when enemy players are near. So then we got the sentry gun, which is six kills. Uh, once deployed, it, it's a sentry gun for the last game. You know, no reason to even bother on that. You got the battle hind. Uh, it calls in a battle hind that circles the map, and uh, it's basically the the uh, attack chopper from any other Call of Duty. Then we got the vulture. Deploys a low flying drone that attacks enemies. Basically, the dragon fire from Black Ops 2. And it's an unknown streak, so I won't even go over that. Um, the quad rotor, uh, playable controller, controllable kill streak, fires explosives, and is able to see enemies through walls. It's, it looks like a dragon fire by the looks of it, but I'm not really sure on that yet. Uh, we got the Juggernaut Maniac, which is nine kills. A package is airdropped into the map that holds the kill streak. Once picked up, the player gets the Juggernaut armor and a comet knife. Nothing more. Unlike the normal Juggernaut kill streak. Okay, so it's basically a lightweight marathon MW2 style uh, tactical knife basically except for this time you have a juggernaut suit on so I could see that being really annoying but uh, that'll be pretty interesting to see then we got the normal juggernaut which is 10 kills um, works just like the juggernaut from MW3 the player picks up the airdrop package and receives the juggernaut armor that comes in with a minigun instead of a uh, M60 I think it was from MW3 and then we got the Helo Pilot, allows the player to control and attack helicopter for a short period of time. It's basically like the Chopper Gunner from MW2, if you saw that. Then we got the Unknown, we don't know what this is yet, but allows the player to control an aerial vehicle that can support the team by launching the following arm on. Okay. Uh, it can either drop an airdrop, a juggernaut, small rod, or a large rod. I'm not sure what those last two are. But anyways, let's go ahead and get down to the support package, the support strike package. Um, we got the SATCOM, same as before. We got the ballistic vest. It's the same from MW3. Um, allows you to supply teammates with ballistic vests that increase their armor and damage resistance. Then we got box of guns. Uh, they say it's not been confirmed on how it works, but the name implies that a random weapon is given to the player that picks it up. So I guess that could be pretty useful if you 
if you uh, are a low level and you have a really crappy gun on you, and uh, I guess you could get a pretty easy gun from that. Then we got the Night Owl, the drone that follows you around. It acts as a motion sensor that detects nearby enemies and also deflects missiles that are fired in your direction. So it's basically a missile fire. I, I don't know. And it says uh, even if you die, the Night Owl continues to help teammates. So that sounds pretty useful, I guess. The MAAWS, 10 kills, um, fires a rocket that splits into two, and you can free guide them with the launcher's laser. So it's basically a stinger that can shoot at people. Sounds pretty overpowered to me, but I don't know. You can be the decider on that. Then we got the ground jammer, 12 kills, disables enemy satcoms and kill streaks. Um, not sure how that's gonna be like, but it's basically gonna be a counting UAV, I guess. Air superiority, um, we got calls in a jet fighter that engages enemy aircraft. So I guess it just it's it's basically a giant stinger, I guess, but it its symbol looks like a warhog from Black Ops 2, so I'm not sure what that's gonna be. And then we got a support squad mate. Uh, get behind the guy, uh, other than the description, is really not knowing how this would work. Um, so, I don't know, I guess you're gonna be, it's gonna be a guy with a ride shield, we're not sure yet. Then we got the Helo, Heli Sniper, uh, calls in a helicopter with a sniper on board. The sniper is controllable, and the helicopter can be ordered to move around the map. The sniper can be taken out, which ends the kill streak. So, I guess that could be pretty cool, I mean, I'm not sure. I think I saw a video on that, but I, I'm not sure. Uh, the Oracle, 14 kills, kill streak is through your cloaking device, but it has been debunked by Robin Ruger. Okay, well, we don't know what that is. Then we got Juggernaut Recon, uh, drops in a Juggernaut armor that has a personal radar. Um, basically like the support Juggernaut from MW3. Then we got the Unknown, again, 16 kills, allows the player to control an aerial vehicle that can support the team by... Okay, so it's basically the same thing from the Assault Package. So that's just about it for today's commentary topic, guys. If you enjoyed, please do leave a like rating, and uh, follow everyone on Twitter below, and please subscribe, and I will see you later. Peace.